O oh, muse, help me now tell how great Achilles swore dark vengeance for the slaying of Patroclus. Upon Achilles' return to the ranks of the Greeks, Agamemnon and the kings and princes of Greece rejoiced and gave thanks to the same gods they had earlier so vehemently condemned. But Achilles was without his armor. Hector had wrenched it from Patroclus' body and claimed it as his due spoils of battle. It was Thetis, Achilles' mother, who intervened. She came to her son with gifts of solace offered by the gods, the instruments of rightful revenge. This river gave birth to Troy. We are all sons of Scamandros, and will not allow it to be tainted by Greek pestilence. It is not I that will pollute the mighty Scamandros, but the fetid corpses of your people. Achilles, I will no longer stand by as you stain my waters with the blood of those I have nourished for generations. Your people will perish, River God. The gods have no say in this, for it is not fate, nor divine plan. Hector? Why haven't you gone with Priam? Father will be safe with Aeneas. Besides, I have responsibilities here. Achilles? He will be hunting for you on the battlefield. You know what I must do. Hector! Achilles, as we are both men of honor, let us promise that whoever wins today shall return the body of the other to his people. I will promise this to you before the gods. Will you do the same? Lions do not make promises to men, nor wolves to sheep. Your blood will quench Aris's thirst, and your flesh will be left for wild dogs to tear asunder. Prepare yourself. I will rend your limbs from your body and feed them to the dogs. My family will offer abundant gold for my ransom. Take it and give my body back to my father so I may have the right of burning. Promise me this, please. The hand of fate dooms us all, Achilles. I die for my people. Who will you die for? Don't speak of my fate. It's mine to forge, and no god on Mount Olympus will change that! So dies the madman who thought he killed Achilles! His revenge complete, Achilles was free to mourn his fallen friend and lay his ashes in an urn of gold, meant for two, with instructions that if he were to fall in battle, his ashes were to be buried in the same urn. On that same day, the Trojans mourned the loss of their fallen champion. For three days, the hills and plains of Troy echoed with the soft sounds of sorrow in place of battle's thunder. Isn't it odd how men celebrate death 
by keeping the peace and live life to wage war. And when the call went out for war's dark shadow to return, the Trojans were bolstered by a glorious new ally, and Desilea and her Amazons. In spite of the cleansing ritual, Penthesilea knew there was only one way to cleanse her guilt. Death in battle. With this in mind, she led her Amazons into battle, searching for the one who could grant her an honorable warrior's death, Achilles. We are Amazons, unafraid of battle, unafraid of men, unafraid of death. Why are you here, Queen of the Amazons? And why do you ally yourself against the inevitable? Horus bids us help the innocent. You, Odysseus, are among us. I may not be able to best you, Amazon, but we shall see how you fare against the might of Achilles. Coward! You value your life! My queen, remember, the gods play with us and tease us for their amusement. You bear no guilt for what they have caused to happen. Thank you, fair prince. This is my time. Penthesilea! It is not the beauty of your countenance that I face, but the blood of an enemy that must be spilled upon the earth. And it is but another warrior that I face. Another man too proud to face his death. I know your story, brave queen. If only we had met elsewhere. Away from this bloody game we play. With Hector and Penthesilea both fallen at the hands of Achilles, Troy looked for a new hero to save them from the jaws of the lion. From the distant lands of Ethiopia came the warrior King Memnon, the mightiest warrior of the East. On his shoulders rested the hopes of Paris and all the people of Troy. <laughs> You knew all along, didn't you? You and Cassandra. Hector is dead because of my selfishness. And Troilos, and Penthesilea, and Sarpedon. Enough, Paris. More is in store for you, Paris. Who knows? You may even find some solace in what's to come. Solace is beyond my grasp. By the gods! What? Memnon has fallen. Achilles is charging the gate! Quickly! No! Achilles! King Achilles, we're being overrun. We cannot last within the city much longer. We will face each other again! Gods above, guide me. If this is your will, do not fail me now.
it's done. <laughs> 